Hello, my name is Connor Hill. I'm a Year 13 student here at the De Montfort School and this is a quick guide on using Google Classroom. The regulations around COVID-19 means that most work, both in school and homework, will be moving online to allow for quicker marking times than the six days it will take if the work is done on paper. Without further ado, and if you'd like to follow along, you need to open a new browser and type in Google Classroom. That will bring you to this web page. Just scroll down, click the link here. And then scroll down once again once you get to here and click go to classroom. That will bring you to the sign in page. Now the login is your usual school username which you will be given followed by at tdms.walks.sch UK and the password is the same password that goes with your normal school username. That will then bring you to the Google Classrooms homepage, this one here, and from here you can access all of your classrooms. Now, if you need to join a new one, as you will do on your first time, press the plus button here and then type in the class code for the classroom which your teacher will give you then press join this will bring you to the stream of that page now if you want to access another classroom from here the three lines in the top 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 left hand corner and then you'll be able to access any others from here in the stream you'll see any messages from teachers which you can reply to, add a comment or a question maybe, and then all the assignments that you will get given. Click them, that will bring you to this page here. You'll be able to see all of the information about the tasks and then any documents you need to complete the tasks with. You can add class comments, um, questions that the whole class can see, or private comments that only the teacher can see. Now, when you're ready to add or create work, Press the button here. You can add a document from your computer by going to File, Upload, Browse, and then adding in any document you need. Maybe it's an image, a Word document, a PowerPoint, slides, that sort of thing. Just like so. Or you can work within Google. So we can go to the button again. And we can add maybe a Google Docs, which works just like Word, a Google Slides, which is PowerPoint, and Google Sheets, which is Excel. So Google Docs, a standard Word processor, works just the same as Word. Once you open it, it'll open here for you. You can make the changes, edits, add in all the information you need to do. That will save automatically to your drive. You can change the title here. So changing the title just like so. And then of course it works just like Word does. Once we come back to it, when you're ready to hand it in, just press turn in. That will then send it off to the teacher to be marked. But if you get to this point and realize you need to make a change, just press unsubmit, unsubmit again. You can go in, make the changes, make the edits, just by getting rid of them, and then coming back, making sure you put them back in to turn in once you're actually ready to hand them in. Now, if you want to see all of the tasks you've got to do for that classroom, come back to its uh, stream, go to classwork, and you'll be able to see all the tasks you need to do with their due dates. And if you want to see an overall view of all of your classwork from all of your classes, come to to-do here, and it'll give you it here all of your work and when the due dates are as well. Now that is everything. Google Classroom is fairly simple to use and will be easy to use after a few attempts. If you have any questions, do not be afraid to ask your teachers and they will be able to give you a hand. Otherwise, I hope to see you all in the new school year. Stay safe.